Ten years have passed since High School DxD was released. Seeing as one of my favourite anime, I have decided to bring back a topic when I first began making videos. How would Rear Scrammy play in Smash? Before we get started however, I would like to mention that this is a blueprint of how she would work. I would need to mod the game to properly do a more in-depth analysis. Any other questions will be answered at the end of the video or in the description down below. So, in order for Rears to truly work in Super Smash Bros, to make her more unique and to stay true to the series she comes from, I'll be basing her moves on chess. Now, with the exception of Azya and everyone in the family after Season 1, all the pieces are there for Rears to use. Rears has some gimmicks as well, which I will go over in each part of the moveset. Before we get into the attacks, it is important to start off with how Rears would feel to play. Rears is a very powerful character in her series. She does not really move around too much in combat either. Due to this and how chess works, I imagine when it comes to how this will play, the entire stage will be covered in a square pattern. Now this pattern will not be visible, only when attacks happen, the space in which the pieces move will pop up. With Rears being a king, she is the, or one of the heaviest characters in the game. She can only move one space every second, only being able to jump at once as well. Now I know you'll think that is going to be the death of the character, but this is fair with how she would work and balancing purposes. Starting off with the neutral attack, we first have her jab. It will come out frame 1 only hitting once and knocking the foe back being stunned for a second. This is mainly a combo starter. A side attack will be charged, it's one of the most helpful combo enders. The attacks will move in a zigzag pattern, every time it moves up and down it will stun them a bit knocking them back until they reach the end of the attack where it will do the most amount of knockback. Reese's dash attack has Kibra come out for this one. As Rears dashes, he will move forward three spaces, then hit the foe upwards in an L shape. When it comes to attacking from behind, Konoko will step in for this one. Whatever way Rears faces, Konoko will attack the opposite direction, going until she hits the end of the stage. Akino is up next to help out. She helps out with up A. Her moves work in a weird pattern. Just like a queen, she can move near enough anywhere, so her can her attacks. If you hold up and A, she will charge A attack. You can then move where you want the attack to hit. You can either go straight up, diagonal both ways, and to the left or right. The foe will be hit by lightning in a direction that you hold it in. This will stun them only for a bit though, so you might want to dash attack into this one. Now the down nodule is a weird one, this attack is a boost, Easy comes out for this one. Just like Arcano's attack, you hold down A. Once you do that, you will then boost the attack in the corresponding direction. So, we will be starting off with up special. This attack is to do with another gimmick with Rias. Chess is mainly to get your pieces over to the other side, no difference in how a lot of the main fights in DxD are. So when you first teleport into the arena, you will have a side. Whether it be left or right, there will be a teleportation circle on the floor. The further away from the circle you are, the weaker your attacks. So, it doesn't matter where you are on stage, you can teleport exactly to that location. If you teleport to it and someone's inside the circle, they won't be teleported to you. They will be knocked back by the circle. Next up is Neutral B. Neutral B in this one only charges a ball-like attack. The ball-like attacks work like Sephiroth, except that if you keep holding it and charging it, it will come out as a short burst, hitting down and doing a spike. Next up is Down B. Down B is a shield. It can block anything in its way and if you hold it long enough and charge it, you can let it go to be a attack. But make sure to not keep spamming this or holding the button down. It will release automatically after a certain while. And if they keep hitting you or you're not ready for it, they can do more damage if they get a hit on you.
Side B is a charge attack, Rish gets a ball of magic and she charges at you for sprint. Now, this attack goes all the way to the end of the stage. If you're off stage however, you will be in free fall. So make sure to use this properly. Now that the blueprint part is done, I need to go over some other things before I end off this video. So yes, there will be a part two to this, it'll be going more in depth and I need to actually mod a game for that. I'll be doing sprite work for it as well. If you're going to be wondering about the final smash or the grabs or anything like that, it will be in part two. The reason I didn't go over it here was because that side is more technical. If you want to know an idea of what the final smash would be, it will literally be all of the Rhea's Grammy family coming together. Lastly, if you want to know anything else, it will be in the description, like I said. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a like, all that good stuff. But I will be seeing you in the next video. Take care everyone, and goodbye.